Oh, who's there? Is that a light? Oh, looks like a new one is lost again. Poor thing. Just not quite ready to move on yet, it seems. <sighs> I should go have a chat with this one. Becoming a ghost is just such a big shock for some. Let's see if I can calm them down a little. I think they went into these bushes. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, look at you all curled up by this tree. Are... are you crying? Oh, no. Shh. Shh. Hey. It's okay. Hi, little one. Hi. It's okay. Don't be scared. You don't need to cry. Don't be frightened. I won't come any closer. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kim. I'm the grave digger in this graveyard. I live just down near the entrance in a little cabin. I want to help you, okay? I don't want to force myself on you when you're feeling so bad, but I think you will feel better if you listen to what I have to say. There are a few things you need to know that are probably troubling you right now. I know you're really scared and shocked, and you probably don't know what to feel. That's totally fine. This happens to all new ghosts. Trust me, I have spoken to so many. I understand what you're going through. You see, it's not officially a part of my job description, but I see it as my duty to guide and comfort new ghosts like you that appear in my graveyard. I know you're wondering what has happened to your body, why you feel so light, why you can't grab hold of anything. And I know the worst thing is that you can't seem to remember anything about yourself. That all sucks. I know. I can feel the heartbreak in your howls. It's okay, just let it out. I understand. These are all perfectly normal things for a new ghost to feel. It's understandable to feel this way. I'm sure I would too if I were confronted with this situation. I just want to help you. Can I approach you, little one? Do you trust me? You can just nod if you're too shy to talk right now. That's good. You're very brave, little one. I'll just move up and kneel right next to you here. Ah, uh, forgive my scruffy appearance. Digging the graves around here is tough work, so I usually like to stay wrapped up in a few layers on a night like this. And don't worry if my face is a bit dirty, that's just from the soil. I go to wipe away the sweat, and the soil gets everywhere, you see? It's nothing to worry about. I can see you. You may have noticed most people alive can't. It's a rare gift that I have. Hey, listen. Why don't you come with me to my cabin and I can talk to you there? It's warm there and I have a nice fire and hot cocoa. How does that sound? There are plenty more things I'm sure you want to know the answer to, and maybe I can help you move on. See my lantern? Yes, it's a big rugged thing too. It gets nice and bright. You can see it from anywhere in the graveyard. That way you always know where I am. Why don't you follow me to the cabin now, little one? I know this is all very scary, but you will feel better once you're warm, I promise. Take your time. When you feel ready, you can just follow my light, okay? I will welcome you any time, little one. Oh, why, hello there. Look who just faded in through the wall. <laughs> Welcome to my home, little one. It's small, and the exterior could use some renovation. But in here, it's the most cozy place I know. I hope you like my little cabin, ghosty. I've made a fire for us, and there's an extra cushion here on the bench for you. Please feel free to sit down and warm yourself up. Here, it's for you. You just float over and make yourself feel right at home, okay? <sighs> Isn't that nice? It's been so cold outside today, and you've probably just been gliding around aimlessly, haven't you? It's okay. You don't have to do that anymore. One day of suffering is quite enough for a new ghost. Ah, but before I forget, I did promise you cocoa. Here. It's fresh. I made it just now. 
and it's delicious. I love a mug of hot cocoa on a cold, windy night. But as I found out soon enough from my time with ghosts, you do actually need a small amount of sustenance while you remain in this world. The cocoa is perfect for you since you're still figuring out the whole not gliding through objects thing, and you can just sort of lick it up without much hassle. It will stick to your tongue. Ah, you haven't realized yet. Yes, well, you actually can lift and move objects if you want. If you focus your mind on it, it is possible to make your hands or other parts of yourself more dense. That will allow you to interact with things. Just make sure not to do it in front of any people around here. It scares them quite a lot. Many don't believe ghosts are real since they can't see you. The pastor does, though, and she's okay. She's very kind. She's the one that got me a job working here. She didn't believe I could see ghosts at first. I had to demonstrate it to her with a ghost's help so she would believe me. Up to that point, I'm sure she thought I was crazy. <laughs> just remember, she can't see you, though, so please don't go moving objects around just to scare her. That wouldn't be very nice. I don't really know how you ghosts do it, to be honest. But you do all seem to figure it out after a while. I wouldn't worry about that for now. I'm sure you'll pick it up soon. You can just lick up the cocoa for now. Why, yes, just like a cat. <laughs> Try it. It's nice, I promise. Don't be shy. Go ahead and taste it. <sighs> well, did I oversell it? Mm, that's good. I'm glad you like it. Take your time. There's no need to rush. You have all the time you want. Hmm. There, there, go slowly, little one. It's not going anywhere, you know. Everything is all right. You must have been so scared today. You looked so helpless curled up by that tree. It's okay, you have me to talk to now. I'll be here for you until we can figure this out. I'll give you milk, and you can stay by the fire in the cabin if you like. You don't have to worry anymore, okay, little ghosty? Why, what's that face you're making? Are you going to cry again? Of happiness this time, you say. Aw, little one. It's good you feel this happy now. Do you want a hug? Aw, come here, you can hug me. It's okay, you can hug me, little one. Let all those emotions out. Here, just place your arms around me and feel my presence. Don't wave them through me too much, though. That tickles. <laughs> mm. See? You just feel my presence now. I'm here. It's okay. Everything will be all right. <sighs> you must have been so scared today. I'm sorry, little one. Walking around the town, trying to talk to people, not understanding what was going on. They all just walked through you, didn't they? It's okay. Let it out. You're safe now. Hey, listen. I know what could cheer you up. How about I pet your head a little? Here. See? This is nice, isn't it? I knew you'd like this. <laughs> oh, it's nothing, little one. It's just patting a ghost. It's a weird sensation for a human. It's like patting bath foam or whipped cream, if you remember those things, but somehow different. It is hard to describe. You don't leave anything on my hand compared to those things, and just as I feel my touch might deform you, it just glides right through somehow. Well, as long as it's comforting, I can keep going. <sighs> we will sort this out together. How do you feel, little one? I think it's time I filled you in on the things you want to know about. I will tell you all I know and what I think we should do. This may not be the easiest thing to hear right now, but I know you are a brave little ghost, so you will understand that I'm speaking the truth, 
and it's for your own good. So here's the core of the matter. Truth is, the hardest I might try to make you feel comfortable here, I think you know and feel you will never truly find happiness while you stay in this world. The first ghost I met, I tried so hard to make them happy, but it just isn't that simple. It's unfortunate, but I have met so many ghosts over the years that I have more or less figured out why you all stay. There is something still here. Something still in this realm you could not let go of. Something so important to you that it made you cling on and somehow resist dying in a peaceful fashion, preventing you from transitioning to the other side. A loved one in distress, perhaps, or maybe it was a goal you had worked towards your whole life. I can only guess what the thing you cling to may be. Unfortunately, as you realize, the curse of becoming a ghost is that even though you have in some way resisted your own death, you have also lost your memory. You feel that, right? You don't know who you are anymore? It's not your fault, little one, no. It's okay here. Shh. We will just have to find out who you once were together. Yes, I will help with that little one. I said it's my duty, remember? It's important we do this. Once we find out who you were, we can hopefully find out what's causing you so much distress. And if we find that out, we can do something about it. This is what you need. We need to put your mind at rest so you don't feel that feeling of hopelessness and regret anymore. I want to help you stop clinging on so you can move on and transition beyond. Once you put your mind at rest and feel at peace, that is when you can leave this realm. This is what I want for you. This is what's right. You shouldn't have to roam this graveyard endlessly, haunting it. That wouldn't be good. You might start scaring people if you get too frustrated, and maybe go crazy. I do my best to keep things nice around here so people will enjoy visiting their loved ones, you know? That's good. You're such a kind ghost. You're so understanding even though you're going through so much yourself. You're just so cute. You're still hugging me, listening to me talk. Mm. Good ghost. You know the first thing we should do is? In the morning, I'll take you to see the pastor. She will know who you are. She always does. She held your funeral, after all, and she knows everyone in town. I will be your translator, if you like. But once you can hold a pen on your own, you can write letters with her. If anyone knows where to start, it will be her. <sighs> you will need to talk a lot about your feelings, okay, little one? Working out what's been making you cling isn't going to be easy. You have to be strong and you have to be honest, okay? Good. That's such a brave attitude. We can sort out that little head of yours. Make it all better. <sighs> oh, oh, listen to me. I feel so tired. It's so nice being by the fire, but we both had a long day. Don't you feel tired? Even ghosts must sleep, you know. You do. I thought you would be. You had such a long first day, after all. Let's head off to sleep. If you don't want to let go, you can just lay down with me. Here, you can just snuggle up. <sighs> Good night, little ghosty. You're safe now. Don't worry about tomorrow. You're going to do fine. Hmm. See? Sweet dreams. <laughs>